it's Andrew from practicalmaker.com so after two full days of coding we have some Macroduino code uh, for the Arduino controller which actually does some cool stuff so as you can see right here we've got uh, pH displaying and uh, temperature 1 displaying and uh, right this right here is the first temperature sensor so I put my finger on it you can see it jump up from 77 to 80 now and uh, I've actually got two more hooked up so in total I have three hooked up uh, that was one of the problems many people were asking about how do I hook up multiple temperature sensors to this thing and I have the solution so what we do is, you can actually display up to three temperature sensors on the uh, LCD display. One, three, display, one. Okay, so now you can see there's all three of them uh, displaying on the LCD. Now you can act, you can have up to nine um, one wire temperature sensors hooked up, and you can pick whichever one. Whoops, sorry, I guess it slipped out of the socket here. Uh, this is just my prototyping setup. You can pick whichever one you want to display here. So let's say, uh, see, they're all different right now. Let's say we want to set temperature three to temperature one. So T three will now read the same as T1. Temp3 sensor 0. And now let's say we wanted to make temperature 3 sensor. So this is the temperature 1 sensor. You can see it. I'll just put my finger on it. And you can see they both go way up in sync. So we'll put the temperature 3 sensor to the temperature 1 sensor. Temp 3 sensor uh, 0. Okay, so you can now see we have an LED here. There is macros for temperatures. So I'm going to put my finger on this, and this LED is set up to go off when it goes above 82 degrees Fahrenheit. There you see it hit 82 and then we'll let it go back down. It's supposed to go back on when it goes beneath 80 degrees I think. I, I don't remember the macro for that. Um, but you can have as many macros as you want. Each macro, so each, each of these is given a number, right? So this one is, is number zero. So you can set, tell the macro which number of temperature sensor that you want to use in the macro. So you could have from zero to nine, so actually 10 temperature sensors. So you could have uh, things running based on temperature in the sump, based on temperature in the tank, based on, you know, any other temperature that you can think of, really. Uh, what else do we have here? So actually this should, the LED should turn on very shortly. Hopefully. Almost. Come on here. Stupid thing. There we go. So you see the LED just came back on because it dipped below 80 degrees. Now what's really cool about this is you could keep your aquarium in uh, in say a quarter of a degree or even a tenth if you really want but you know that would turn stuff on and off quite a bit you basically just to do this the first macro you say below 80 degrees of temperature sensor zero turn on that uh, you know output there, there will also be the AC outputs um, so you could tell it you know temperature sensor zero below 80 degrees turn on the uh, AC outlet number five or something like that. I haven't gotten to that part yet but uh, this is just a proof of concept. So we also have P3 
pH. Now pH will be quite a bit easier to configure. I'm uh, you basically you just stick it in your calibration solutions and change that so it reads seven in seven and and uh, ten in ten. ORP is the same uh, for configuring. Now you'll see here uh, we've got actually the USB. The USB is so cool. So. Here is the backpack for the LCD. You'll notice the nice uh, B USB connector, and we also have contrast display and uh, the ICSP uh, header, so you can program it with whatever you want. We have the real time clock going right now. Uh, there's real time clock macros, uh, there's still a couple bugs in them to work out but uh, hopefully in the future well maybe tomorrow <laughs> but the biggest news is uh, multiple temperature sensors and macros that can act on them and the LCD uh, basically it is configurable through serial commands or Ethernet commands and the good news is we're at uh, 27 kilobytes 27.4 kilobytes so we have about uh, two and a half, three kilobytes left of space which is enough to do the uh, AC control stuff and this is all over serial so you know the Ethernet um, the Ethernet control mod like uh, interface can be 16 kilobytes or so because that's how big the serial control one is and another nice thing all of these settings and stuff stored in EEPROM so if your power goes out, your controller comes back on, reads all the settings from the EEPROM, and you are right back where you were, um, you know, before the power went out. And uh, so we're working on a whole bunch of stuff. I'm going to release the code and the boards very shortly. Um, I don't want to release it until, you know, you can actually do something with it. So please bear with me. But... Uh, I cannot wait to release it.